Welcome to the Illum Tools Overview. Illum Tools is the fastest and easiest way to incorporate accurate point-by-point -point lighting calculations into your Revit projects. Based on the industry standard AGI32 calculation engine, Illum Tools leverages all of your Revit content to calculate lighting results on any work plane or surface. An interactive visualization is integral to the calculation process so you can witness the true interaction of light and surface as you evaluate your lighting designs. Let's take a quick walk through the Illum Tools workflow. The first step is to validate your lighting product family types. This is done with Illum Tools Luminaire Manager. All the types used in the project are listed. You can also show unused types from here or instances from the other tab. Illum Tools expects lighting fixture families to be properly constructed using a photometric web source type with accurate source position and aiming. Family types without a photometric source, such as this one, or with a fictitious source type, here, will show up with a red X. A quick session in the Family Editor can correct the use of fictitious source types. Illum Tools provides generic Luminaire families for your use as well. Just match up an IES file. Within Luminaire Manager, if types already have an IES photometric file assigned, you can see it easily. If not, it's easy to make that association. You can select any file on your network. Illum Tools also provides access to Lighting Analyst Instabase system to search across many of the industry's most prominent manufacturers for the product of interest. Once you locate the product of interest, simply drag it straight into Luminaire Manager. Once the IES file is assigned, you can review the information extracted from the IES file or calculated by Illum Tools and make modifications if necessary. Luminaire Manager also allows types to be duplicated, renamed, or deleted straight from the type line. Illum Tools also has an at-a-glance validation confirmation. Click the web or the red X if you want to indicate that you've already examined this type. Notice the icon changes. This will prevent fictitious sources from popping a warning when calculations are run. Exiting Luminaire Manager, the next step is to validate the materials used in the project for accurate reflectance information. This is done in Illum Tools Materials Mapping dialog. Because the accuracy of your lighting calculations is dependent on proper surface reflectance information, this is an important step. You can validate reflectance by individual material, as we have done with the ceiling tiles, or by broadly assigning reflectances to entire categories, such as all floors at 20%, or all walls at 50%, all ceilings at 80%. With this step complete, let's close the dialog and move on to the calculation point commands. The assignment of discrete calculation points to an imaginary work plane or real surface is required to statistically assess the distribution of light within an environment. Illum Tools provides the ability to easily place calculation points just about anywhere. In Revit rooms and spaces, on the floor or work plane, or any height. Or in Revit filled regions, which is great for exteriors. Select the point family marker, go to Illum Tools and edit the points. The distribution of points and point spacing is completely under your control. To place calculation points on surface geometry, such as a wall or a tabletop, Illum Tools provides the planar face method. There we've placed points on the wall. Now we can change the point spacing, or even use an offset distance to bring the points away from the wall. To this point, we've validated Luminaire families, validated our materials, and added calculation points. With these steps complete, we're ready to calculate the results. From the Calculate command, Illum Tools can utilize rooms, spaces, areas, and regions as calculation volumes. Or in some cases, it's handy to be able to calculate a specific 3D view, like this stairwell. We use the Calculate Active View command. You can see the points on the treads. Multiple 3D views can also be computed together. This is how Illum Tools separates exterior and interior surfaces in daylight computations. 
Calculations can be individual or across multiple calculation volumes. Let's look at a calculation in more detail. Compute these two rooms. We can isolate them from one another or compute them in one process, as might be the case if flight from one contributes to the other. ElumTools gathers the geometry within the calculation volume, in this case the rooms, and any included family geometry such as furniture and luminaires, of course. The radiosity calculation engine then divides the surfaces into small elements. These are used to compute the reflected component of light as it propagates throughout the environment. Once the calculations are complete, the ElumTools calculation viewer provides a completely interactive model for your inspection. We can utilize isolines, or contours, as well as spatial maps to help us visualize gradients of light. There are some other nice features for lighting professionals as well. We can visualize the contribution of direct light only, or only in a reflected light, and of course the contributions of both direct and inner reflected. If you have source color temperature enabled in settings, you can also witness the effect in the visualization. In this case, the down lights in the room on the right are 3000 kelvins, and the recessed luminaires on the left are 4000 kelvins. The calculation viewer will also allow post-radiosity process ray trace to be run for ultra-clean luminance gradients and shadows. This can be very handy for presentation grade images. Tools stores rendered results and they can be recalled at any time using the view rendering or the rendering manager commands. Let's take a quick look at an exterior calculation. With the calculations complete, you can enable visibility in the Revit view or sheet of choice using the view results command. Spatial maps can also be shown. The values display can be formatted to suit your preference with different fonts, sizes, and markers using Revit's analysis visualization framework. Loom Tools can create a simple calculation schedule with a click. Select the information of interest and click Create. All the statistical data is available to Revit scheduling tools as well for completely custom summaries if desired. Loom Tools supports emergency and daylighting modes as well. Let's run a quick emergency lighting calculation based on an instance parameter. Make this fixture an emergency luminaire run the calculation for the room. Here's our emergency results. We can switch back to general use and see the general lighting results as well. Finally, it is handy to know that the view commands in Loom Tools are unlicensed, meaning the software can be installed on any Revit station and the lighting results examined without an Loom Tools license. And that's how easy it is to use Loom Tools. There are other capabilities that you can see demonstrated in separate videos, such as the Layout Assistant, a handy way to compute the number of luminaires required to meet a specific light level, then place those luminaires automatically in Revit. Thank you for your interest in Illum Tools. Please investigate our additional videos on YouTube, also linked from illumtools.com.